Elijah had come already. Yeah. But here's the piece I want to throw at you. And they knew him not. Yet he's supposed to came to do what? Restore all things, right? Yeah. And yet he said, I, but I say unto you in verse 12, that Elijah's come already and they knew him not and have done unto him whatsoever they listed. My point is this is, did Elijah fulfill what he's supposed to have done? Or was it, maybe when he restored things, he's talking about restoring the, 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 the avenue for in the spiritual realm for the ushering of Jesus Christ. You see how I'm coming from? Okay, well, he did, you know, he even said, John said, you know, I come to make way for the one yeah. to come be after me. Exactly. So, you know, he did. So it was, a, it was more of a spiritual thing, right? It was more of a yeah. ushering in and only for just Israel too, if you think about it. You know, you know, he, he had people uh, repenting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is what Adam didn't do, right? We didn't, we didn't get a indication <laughs> Adam repented. So, yeah. so, so Elijah came to really just prepare the way for the Christ coming in. And then the piece that gasped me was, and they knew him not. And he said, likewise, well, they're going to do the same thing to the Son of Man. They, they, he was suffering. But now, the they are the religious leaders. They, and you know, if you think about it, I, the religious Because they, they, they were the one that, that he suffered on. Right. As well. well you know, they, 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 they were the one that, that, uh, that persecuted him, you know. It was the children too, right? It's, it's not all the children of Israel, but a lot of them did, didn't uh, recognize him either, right? Many of them didn't recognize him. So, I, I, yeah, I think those who, 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 who witnessed him and the miracles, you know, and those who heard the stories of the miracles uh, believed that he, he he was the son of God. You think so? You know, that he was he would come he was coming there to put them in in uh they think we're gonna restore Israel to to to, to reestablish the, the kingdom. Right of Israel. Not the kingdom yes. of God, but the kingdom of Israel. No, the kingdom right. of Israel. I think I do believe they thought that. Yeah. Um, though he made no efforts and being political <laughs> exactly. at all. Which is what they would need it, right? They would have needed yeah. a physical king like David to restore that kingdom. They was only looking for the inside, Israel. Yeah. That's all they were looking for. Uh, that's why they even asked John the Baptist, right? Are you are you the one? Are you yeah. are you the Messiah? And, and it's amazing that they, they were looking for the Messiah. But they couldn't, they couldn't, they didn't know. They didn't know John. They didn't know. And John said, he quoted the scripture, right? That was Isaiah. I'm the one crying, I'm the voice crying in the wilderness. Mm -hmm. But you, they knew him not. Jesus said he was the son of God, that he was the Christ. And they knew him not. Because we, and the question is, is that something that can happen? even to us now. Is that sun happening to us now that we don't know him? Yeah. yeah. It is it's happening. It's happening to to uh I believe it's happening to Christians, many Christians. Yeah. They don't know him. Right. They know of him. Right. But they don't know him yeah. because they haven't established a relationship with him. Come on. They Come on. Re they receive him. 
uh-huh. you know, to to for for life and ins- you know fire insurance. Yeah. <laughs> you know, uh, uh, and I guess I guess they. I, I just don't see knowing knowing Christ oh, and and not not understanding yeah well I tell you you know uh, uh, first of all I think that we're gonna have to get together and uh, if Wilbert one of our old PCs or chip in and buy him another one because he's still trying to connect now and it's been like an hour and a half who is that second oh, Wilbert. El- Elder Johnson yeah yeah yeah, yeah. He but you know, to, he need to restart again. Yeah. He need to do something. But you know, um, that's interesting in that all their lives they studied the prophets, the prophecies. They're the ones that the, it, by whom, as far as Christ came in their lineage, all their lives they were looking for, waiting for, expecting Expect, Jesus. Yeah. yeah. And then when he came, they didn't even recognize he that he was who he was. Right. And I tell you, you know, and, and, and we're no different. And, I, and it's sad, though, because they had decided again. They had decided again. They had decided and made their expectations of what they wanted him to be and what they expected him to be. Yeah. And from what they studied, what it showed he was going to be. They didn't have an understanding because when he came, because he wasn't what they expected or the way they expected they in their minds said, well, you can't be the one because yeah. you don't fit the bill. You don't right. measure up to our expectations. You're not what we were looking for. Yeah, and so right. and so, the question boils down to, is it possible that right now that our expectation of him, of his coming again, of his appointed people, could we also, because we've decided certain expectations and certain things have to line up, have to be a certain way, has to be this, can't be that. Could we also be missing out because our expectations are so off track because we truly don't understand? 